Hey everyone, Moy here with another video. Today we are going to be covering how to get started with MetaMask and start buying Ethereum. But before we can get to that, I'm gonna need you to RKO the like button and suplex the subscribe button. So let's get on to the video. So before we can talk about MetaMask, we're gonna need to quickly have a rundown over what Ethereum is. Okay, so first off, Ethereum is a decentralized network also known as a programmable blockchain. It's kind of like Bitcoin, but um, it it's a little bit different. It has a few key features that sets it apart. Yeah, you can use the tech to send money and crypto, various cryptocurrencies peer to peer, but um, one thing that it does allow you to do is develop apps and uh, various other programs and tools on other on top of it like um, you don't necessarily have to use ethereum or just ethereum on the network or just use it as a, a currency um, use developers have built um, decentralized apps or dApps or cryptocurrencies like bats um, i currently use the brave browser and it allows you to earn their currency for blocking out ads and or um, I use minds.com which is a social media platform um, that allows you to earn their token for engagements that you get which is pretty cool because like if you get a few likes and reposts and a lot of comments and follows on your on your account then you are directly compensated for those engagements but I will also link a uh, URL down below in the description just so uh, you can have a uh, more in-depth uh, idea on what Ethereum is go straight to the source if you're that kind of person but I just kind of want to give you a uh, quick I guess rundown of what it is uh, again if you are interested in me uh, making more videos about Ethereum then uh, leave a comment or a like and subscribe and I'll, I'll be here to do that for you okay so next on my list is MetaMask if you're new to crypto you're probably like what is MetaMask is it something I wear like what what is it but um, kind of but no if you're a veteran you already have an idea that um, but essentially it is just a, a web extension that you can add to your browser um, it, it is available for both Firefox and Google Chrome and other Chrome based browsers so if you are one that uses the uh, updated edge uh, Google Chrome or I guess um, brave the brave browser uh, I use the brave browser it's pretty pretty useful but it also comes with MetaMask I guess already installed inside the browser so I don't have to really worry about um, the whole installation part of MetaMask it kind of just comes a part of that but um, if you are on Internet Explorer or something like that unfortunately you are out of luck um, I will provide a link to the Brave browser um, since it is again built on Ethereum and it uh, provides various other privacy and security features that um, I feel go slightly above and beyond uh, Firefox and Chrome and um, the Brave browser being Ethereum based provides you with its own token the bats token I, I believe I was probably talking about that earlier in the video but um, it's pretty neat how it goes about that is it um, blocks ads um, that you are that you're watching or that you can see like on YouTube or um, just it, anywhere really and um, it'll pop up with their own ads and uh, you are rewarded for viewing those ads instead of the ads that you would normally see and then um, content creators or other websites who are paired with brave can have it set where if you visit them you can allot a specific amount of that token to their website so you can directly uh, contribute towards uh, content creators and w websites and companies that you use regularly versus using like Google Ads and uh, like or I guess mostly Google Ads um, and I guess allow the content creator to get the full amount of money versus a cut which is something that I enjoy 
I, I, I think cutting out the middleman is something that, that needs to happen a little bit, but I guess that's why I like crypto. So yeah, so pretty much you'd just be able to make money while using the internet. But uh, let's get uh, let's get on track. Let's get right back to MetaMask. So yeah, I was saying it was a extension that um, acts as a nice bridge between you and the Ethereum network. So yeah, normally what would happen is if you wanted to connect, you would have to somewhat download the entire Ethereum network onto your device to kind of use as a reference and consistently have mine at the next block and keep all that data on your computer, which could be, uh, one, would take a long time since it's been going on for a little bit. And, um, if you don't really want to mine, um, if you don't really have the computer for it, it's not really worth it. Um, so MetaMask is the every everyday tool for Ethereum use on that end. MetaMask acts as your Ethereum wallet, which is also your Ethereum account and what you will need to make transactions and access Ethereum-based websites and dApps. This is where your Ethereum-based currencies are held, as well as any other Ethereum-based NFTs. Hello everyone, I decided to make a trip over to MetaMask.io real quick, just to give you a quick, quicker overview of what's going on. So yeah, um, if you head to MetaMask.io, um, you'll get to a page kind of like this. Um, it's probably We'll give you a little bit more information what it is. It's a crypto wallet and gateway to the blockchain app. Start exploring blockchain applications in seconds. Trust about over 1 million users worldwide. Um, you can buy, store, send, and swap tokens. Explore blockchain apps. Own your own data. A MetaMask gate generates passwords and keys on your device, so only you have access to your accounts and data. You always choose what to share and what to keep private. So yeah, they have like a little video here um, and various uh, blockchain applications. I do use a few of these as well as utilize um, their API. Uh, I'm, you know, I think I said I was working on an application of my own, but this is where I got my start just because um, the, the, I guess the documentation was pretty uh, simple and really interesting, but um First off, what you would need to do um, to get started, you need to just go ahead and head over and click on the download now. It'll take you to this page here. Um, it'll let you know what kind of browsers you would need. So yeah, like Chrome, Firefox, Brave, or Edge. Um, since I'm on Edge to show you this, just because um, I didn't want to, I wanted to show you from a fresh install. You'll click download and oh, install MetaMask for Chrome. Sorry about that. And it'll take me to the actual Chrome page. You should see something like this. Um, add to Chrome. Get like this. Add MetaMask to Chrome Edge, and then you add extension. So once you do that, it will bring you to a screen um, kind of like this. Let's see if it works. Ah, yes. It did. I hit enter again. So welcome to MetaMask. Connect to your Ethereum and decentralized web. We're happy to see you. Let's get started. So um, it'll ask you to create a new wallet. Do that. Help us improve MetaMask. MetaMask would like you. So it'll ask you a few um, analytics questions. You can hit no thanks or agree. I hit agree. Um, it'll have you create a password. So. I'm going to move that over here, create my password. Um, let's see what happens next. Um, yes, it'll take you to this screen here. It'll say uh, secret backup phrase. So normally what will happen whenever you create your MetaMask account, it will give you a um, a secret phrase here. Um, I'm not going to click it, so you can't see it, obviously. But um, it'll give you a seed and also a private key. Um, that private key 
and this seed can be used at a later day to back up and restore your account. Um, you can get the information here on um, this page. All right, I'll go to the. I'll go ahead, and click it. It'll uh, give me the option to download it. I'll do that, um, and then I'll hit next. So uh, probably. Oh, sweet. Let's say I probably should have memorize it a little bit better because it's going to have you um confirm your secret backup phrase which i can't really show you here but i can just um show you what it's like after that is done so if you give me a couple seconds we will do that so yeah once you have re-entered in your seed um it will get, take you to this screen right here. Um, what I do recommend is it. Uh, whenever I was on that last screen, there was like blue text. It was like download this so you can use it on a hard drive. I'd recommend downloading that just so you can keep it on your computer in case and that way you can move it to a more secure area. But also because on the next step, it asks you to then put that seed in. So if you didn't have it memorized, then you're probably going to be messed up on that end. Okay, so uh, once you get this congratulations here, you hit all done, and then it says token swapping is here. Sweet. So that means you can now swap tokens directly in your MetaMask wallet. MetaMask swaps combines multiple decentralized exchange aggregators, professional market makers, and individual DEXs to ensure MetaMask users always get the best prices with their lowest network fees. All right, so that's actually really cool. So what I was going to cover today was how you can purchase i guess ethereum one or two ways um you can either do it through a centralized exchange or a decentralized exchange um normally with a centralized exchange you go through like coinbase or binance or uh, what is it uphold and i know um coinbase and uphold they have it where you're you're coin is purchased by you but at the end of the day it's owned by them they held custody of it it's what it's called it's called a custody account and um so if if they got hacked that that ultimately means you, you lose your stuff if, if you're in that lot of users that you know got their money pulled and uh that, that would be really unfortunate so a lot of people have been switching over to using uh, DEXs or decentralized exchange funds, and that's what this right here is covering. So what that would let you do is um, you can learn, I guess we can click learn more about MetaMask swaps, but, um, oh, that's a lot. Yeah, so whenever you make your account, you can learn, learn look on that. But um, what, basically what that means is me or you can go to a Uniswap or one of these individual places and be like i want to swap my ethereum Ooh, you can even do i can do a die to ethereum or something like that so say you have um one token or you were earning your minds or your bats from using um your brave browser and you wanted to swap your earnings from i guess uh, bat to over to die so it's a little bit more stable and you can do so through metamask now which is really convenient um, but also what a dex means is i can make a i can i can personally put my ethereum up for an exchange and um buy it from someone else without having to go through an individual and get it that way um there are also some um local dexes i think i have there's local crypto it should be um it's a link that's also on the ethereum webpage. but the local cryptos they are a dex exchange that allows you to exchange usd for um actual cryptocurrency which is kind of unique to me um i'm looking into it i made an account I plan on uh, seeing how it works to buy some Ethereum, and I can get back to you on that. But um, 
I'm used to personally uh, getting my Ethereum through, um, I guess, through MetaMask for one. Um, you can just buy it and go through either a wire or um, they, they bring, it brings up this page here and you can get like an exact transaction rate or you get the exchange rate with your transaction fees and network fees because you're going to have to pay some gas fee for them owning it, for them owning it and sending it to you. Or um, you can have people directly send you ether, or ether through this way. Um, but um, there are other um, ways to get ether or eth. Um, you can get it through uh, there's like transact, and then the, there is MoonPay. I know um, if you go through One Inch, which is another um, descent or DeFi platform, so you can or buy your own exchange like, i guess crypto and everything like that um they offer a way for you to buy cryptocurrency and i've thought about going through them but right now i think if if metamask offers a way to purchase um ethereum and you can get it for cheap i would go through them until you're able to i guess get enough so that you're able to purchase them off a DEX. But um, you're always going to need some amount of Ethereum to pay for gas prices. So even if you make like 80 bucks in another currency and you want to swap it to Ethereum, you're still going to need to have that initial amount of Ethereum to uh, make the transfer back over to um, Ethereum. But... MetaMask is always improving. This swap feature here is actually pretty new. And um, this is pretty much how you can get set up with Ethereum. Um, you can have your account. You can name it. Um, there are various other settings that you can go through. Get, you can use your QR code, see yourself on um, Etherscan, um, export your private key. So that's how you would get your um, information if you wanted to back up your account to your... Um, MetaMask if you were to utilize it on the phone. Uh, I forgot to mention that they also have a phone app that you can use which makes it very uh, makes it convenient because once you set up your um, your account I guess your MetaMask account there um, it's you there um, the app is a web browser on your phone so whenever you go to a, uh, a DAP it'll automatically log you in or ask you if you want to be logged in with your um, ethereum wallet and you won't have to worry about uh, installing or interacting as, with it as much or the whole process is getting the metamask uh extension and trying to connect to it every time so yeah those of you who were wondering if metamask was safe or not um as long as you don't share your private key or that um, that 12 word seed, you should be good to go. Um, that is one thing I do stress since your MetaMask is um, connected or can be connected to a large amount of asset, assets and it all be for the most part anonymous or just um, kind of just privatized. Um, no one can directly gain access of your accounts um, just due to how the encryption works with the blockchain and um, the only way normally someone would be able to gain access to all the information or if they if, or if they somehow got onto your computer got your seed or um, you were able I guess they were able to track your um, address and then somehow spoof a um, signature or something saying, hey, you need to log in here, blah, 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 blah. But um, I feel like even then the likelihood of that is not as much. Um, all the thing I could stress is never give anyone your seed Never give anyone your private key. Um, the most you should give someone is this right here. This is copy to clipboard. 
because um, they wouldn't want you sending it to anyone. Well, this is actually what you need to uh, send to get uh, your currency from people. So if you were like, hey, Jim, I need some F, you need to send them, copy this and send that to them so they can come over here and hit the send button and then be like, boom, let me get some money. And then this would be the transaction fee of the gas price that you have to pay to send that Ethereum. Because I'm sending no Ethereum. It costs me $3 just to hit the next button <laughs> right now. So this shows you that um, Ethereum is going up right now. The gas prices are going up. Everyone's been interacting with it. And hopefully things will chill out. But um, the only thing that you could do, I guess, to protect yourself even more uh, if if you were worried about um, your private key and your seed being stolen, that would be purchasing some sort of a cold storage. Um, you can get something through Ledger or um, just look up uh, cryptocurrency and cold storage. And normally it's like a, a device that's like similar to a uh, like a flash drive esque, and it like offloads your coin to that and just kind of registers that hey, this lives here. Um, and you kind of need to have both your uh, flash drive linked up, well, not flash drive, but your cold storage key linked with whatever account you're using in order to access it. Um, I think that's how it normally works, but um, I think if you're just starting out and you're not using a lot, a lot of Ethereum, then MetaMask might be the best for you for now uh, until you get to a, a higher level of usage and trading with ethereum but um but why you must buy ethereum it's mostly uh because you if you are to use ethereum network or web3 in this case then you need ethereum in order to make purchases um on the network whether you are buying something directly with ethereum or using um the like OX coin or the uh, BAT or MINE token to purchase something, it, they will ask you to purchase, um, the pay for the gas price in Ethereum, which makes it almost required in all network. So as the Ethereum network grows and more people build apps and create other currencies on top of Ethereum network, then you'll need, you'll continuously need to buy into Ethereum and have it grow. So it's always good to have a little bit because um, it'll go it soon go a long way one thing I would like to warn you though is that um, with the growth in the popularity of cryptocurrencies there have and will be new uh, regulations and taxes placed on the usage of them so to be sure that you are compliant and uh, just to make sure you are your due diligence to always research um, how cryptocurrency is being viewed in your state and how it is currently federally uh, depending on when you are watching this uh, video and um, just make sure you always 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 research I think I can really stress um, yes But with that, thank you for tuning in and watching another one of my lovely videos. Um, it sure does mean a lot to me that you made it this far. And for those that have, uh, I want to stress again and talk about what I've been doing on my website. Uh, I know I've talked about it like a million times, but what I'm currently doing is I am messing with an Ethereum-based uh, website utilizing Fira and uh, MetaMask's API as long as, as well as the Web3 um, library for JavaScript. And um, I'm using 3Box or Box3, I forget the name mixed up, but what it allows you to do is connect with IPFS and Orbit and make various spaces to hold your data so when a user joins they're able to kind of create a uh, space using the api the three box api and um you can go to like the threebox.com i can put a link down below so you guys can see that as well 
and you can see what data that you stored into um, your into the space for the website. So like you can kind of see what your posts are and what you made and everything like that. And then like that allows me to use the same space and populate my app, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I, I just have been getting into um, Web3 a lot and just not really wanting to deal with owning my users data. I kind of want them to deal with it. I just would like to create a space where people can kind of come together, talk and learn about programming or cryptocurrency. So um, that's kind of what I've been working on. And um, that's kind of something I've been passionate about. But uh, as soon as I guess I'm in a good spot or I might just put a link below anyways to show y'all where it's at so you can follow if you like. But um, it is also in my link tree, but again, Thank you all for tuning in. Um, I should have another video here tomorrow or Friday, hopefully both of those days. I am working on the schedule so that I can have something a little bit more consistent in the week so that you all can follow. And uh, yeah, we out.